Hey, first grade, let's do our math lesson for the day. This is chapter three, lesson 10. In your big math workbook, we are working on page 133. Remember, as we get started, you can always pause and play the video as needed. This lesson is all about adding three numbers. So our question as we work today is how can you add three add-ins? And remember, an add-in is just one of the numbers that we're adding together. So listen as I read the following problem. Kelly sees seven birds. Bill sees two birds. Joe sees three birds. How many birds do they see? So let's draw a model. The first thing we're going to draw is Kelly sees seven birds. So let's draw a cube train of seven. And I'm going to draw a seven out to the side just to remind me. Bill sees two birds. So I need to draw a cube train of two and I'm going to write a two out to the side as well. Joe sees three birds, so we need to draw a cube train of three. So now we can count all of our cubes and see how many birds they saw all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They saw twelve birds. Let's look at page 134. Model and draw. Two plus three plus one. You can change which two add-ins you add first. The sum stays the same. So what we're going to do is add two and three to get five and then add one. So our new problem says five plus one equals six. Let's look at another way we could add. Add three and one you would get four, then add two. So your new problem would say two plus four equals six. And they were right, our sum stayed the same. No matter how we combined two of our three add-ins to make a simpler math problem. Let's look down at the bottom at number one and number two. It says use the three cubes to change which two add-ins you add first. Complete the addition sentences. Five plus two plus three. In our first problem, we can see they added five plus two, which would give us seven. Good job. And the three was left out alone. Starting at seven, let's count on seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven plus three equals 10. So our sum over here should also be 10, but we'll double check our work just to make sure. Our green cubes are alone over here, which tells us we have five and that they added two and three. So let's count on five, six, oops, sorry. Let's count how many cubes two plus three gives us. One, two, three, four, five. So using our doubles facts, we know five plus five equals 10. Number two, three plus four plus six equals what? So looking down at the bottom, I see they left the three green cubes by themselves. They added together four and six, which gives us 10, good job. So three plus 10 equals what? If we don't know off the top of our head, we can count on. We would count on with our bigger number. So we would have 10 in our head, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our sum over here should also be 13, but we will double check just in case. I can see for this part of the problem, they added three and four together, which gives us Seven, good job. Which means they left the six blue by themselves. Does seven plus six equal 13? Let's find out. Seven is our bigger number, so we're going to count on seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Good job, let's look at our next page. Number three, seven 
plus 3 plus 1. So let's look at how they added these problems together. So I can see that they left the green 7 cubes by themselves, which means they added the 3 and the 1 together. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Good job. So let's use our bigger number 7 and count on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7 plus 4 equals 11. So we know that our sum over here should also be 11, but we will double check just in case. They added the seven green cubes and three red cubes together, which equals how many? 10, good job. And then they added the one blue cube, which would give us 11. Let's look at number four, three plus six plus three. I can see that they added the green and the blue cubes together. Three plus three, that gives us six. And they left the six red cubes by themselves. Using our doubles facts, we know that six plus six equals 12. Our sum over here should also be 12, but we will have to double check our work. I see that they left the three green cubes by themselves and added together the six red and three blue. Six plus three gives us nine. So let's double check our work. We'll put nine in our head because that's the bigger number and we'll count on nine, 10, 11, 12. Number five says solve both ways. Two plus three plus seven. This time they didn't use cubes, but instead they used arrows to show us which two numbers to add together. So looking at five, number five, it says two plus three plus seven. I see that it wants us to leave the two alone and add seven plus three. Seven plus three equals 10. Good job. Two plus 10 equals 12. We know that our sum should be 12 over here, but we know we'll have to double check our work. Three plus two equals five. And five plus seven equals what? 12, awesome job. So let's look down at the bottom at number six. It says, I used green, red, and blue cubes to model three add-ins. Use my model, write the three add-ins. So look at my model. How many green cubes do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four. How many red cubes are there? None. None is correct. But how would we write none? Zero. Good job. And how many blue cubes? One, two, three. Does four plus zero plus three equal seven? Yes. Good job. Let's look at our next page. Choose three numbers from one to six. Write the three numbers in an addition sentence. Show two ways to find the sum. So in this box, I want you to choose three numbers from one to six and write them in an addition sentence. And I want you to show me the two ways you can find the sum. Number eight, what is the sum for two plus two plus eight? To make that easier, I would add two and two together and you could either say four plus eight equals, or you could also add two plus eight. Two plus eight would give you 10 plus two equals. And we know that both of these would give us the number 12. Great job, you guys. Thank you for listening.